Hi there folks, before we get on with the rest of the video, I want to give a quick shout out to my friends at Pro for Show Products. We all know that as shooters need good hearing protection so that we don't go deaf. So I would recommend you pick up a pair of Pro for Show earmuffs. Now these have a 34 decibel rating, which is better than a lot of commercial products you can get, and they run right around $20 per pair on Amazon.com. And if you use my promo code that I will list below and on the video screen as well, you will receive 5% off your order. So go pick up a pair of Pro for Show earmuffs today. Now, let's get on with the rest of the video. Hi there folks, see you watching the Black Powder Shooter 44 channel. Today we're out here with the 1847 Walker, and we're going to shoot some birdshot through it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to set some targets up down there on the uh, wood stand there, just some paper targets. And we're just going to see what the spread is from a couple couple of yards, a couple feet away with a couple different loads and load types and we'll talk about that later. I do have a couple of videos in the past about shooting birdshot in a percussion revolver and in the Remington revolving carbine. And I have gotten a few comments in those videos about people saying that I'm going to damage the bore in a cap and ball revolver by shooting lead birdshot in it because it's not dead soft lead. Here's my reasoning to it. First off, I'm not using steel shot. I wouldn't do that and I wouldn't recommend that really either. But um, first off, it is lead shot and they're BBs, so they're small and they're just going through the bore. Now, when you shoot a 45 Colt reload in a conversion cylinder, those loads, the lead is harder than the bird shot. And it's harder than dead soft lead. So, shooting a hard, harder slug or harder bird shot, I'm pretty sure that the harder slug would do more damage to the bore. And I don't see how some lead BBs will damage the bore. You know, it's, it may cause leading, but I don't see it damaging the bore. That's my reasoning on it, and um, that's all I gotta say about that. <laughs> anyway, let's go load this up at the shooting table. Okay, so here I got the walker up here at the table, and I just got it all disassembled, ready to go. And uh, got some bird shot here. This little container, got a little scoop for it. Now our first load we're gonna do is 40 grains <coughs> of powder with a felt wad on the bottom and then a felt wad over the powder. That's gonna be our first load. Our second load is gonna be with these cardboard wads I punched out, and these are from like a like an eight carton cardboard type material. And we're gonna use that for the over powder and over shot card later, and I will tell you, you know, what we use. Um, but that's what we're gonna use later. First off, we're gonna use the felt. Um, I'm gonna take my walker cylinder here, and I'm gonna set it my powder measure for 40 grains of powder. Got 40 grains there. Take it, fill it up with our powder flask. As you can hear, the crickets are being pretty loud right now. Okay, we got our charge air in the cylinder. <coughs> now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in a felt wad. I'm gonna push that down. Firmly on top of the powder. And now I'm gonna take a scoop of shot. See, as you see, there really isn't a ton of room left. So using a lighter load is a better idea when using bird shot. So I'm gonna take some shot here. I'm not gonna need that much. I'm just gonna pour some in the cylinder. Okay. Alright, so it's pretty much level full, but what we're going to do is I'm going to put another felt wad on top. <coughs> Excuse me. And I want to take this short starter, I'm just going to push it the rest of the way down. As you can see, 
is just below the chamber mouth and if I really want to I could put it in the gun and see if the loading lever to get a little firmer seal. Alright, let's take a look. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in in a second, but this whole area from here to here has shot and it's pretty sporadic grouping. On here you can see right here where the felt wads hit. See, here's a closer look. You see the pretty widespread out, not a tight grouping. And of course, you know, that's because of the rifling that it throws so wide. So I was about six paces away, a couple yards. We're gonna try now with 40 grains of powder and a cardboard overshot card and see how that does. And we're gonna aim for the top portion of the paper here. So once again, this was 40 grains of powder, but I used the cardboard overshot card and I really packed the powder in, or the shot in there tight. And I got a little bit extra shot in there, than I, more than I did last time. And it shot a little better. As you see, this is where the wad hit. But overall, you see a couple of BBs out there. Down to here, about where the grouping is. So overall, this is better than our last one, I would say, and this is once again, from six paces. Okay, we're loaded up once again. This time we have 40 grains of powder with a cardboard over, over powder card and then a cardboard over shot card. Now, the over powder card went in a little cockeyed, but I think we'll be okay. So once again, we're gonna go to about that six pace. Six paces away from the paper target. I got a new one down there. Let's see what kind of pattern we get with this load. So I was aiming for the middle here, and uh, this is what we got. Now, I don't like this pattern as much as I did the last one. See, here's the shot. It does cover the whole area, but it's pr pretty wide, uh, widely spread out. So, it's interesting. So now we're gonna shoot another load up here at the top portion of the target. Alright, we're loaded up again, but this time I decided to change things up. We have the walker loaded up with 25 grains of powder instead of 40 grains of powder, which is what we've been using all along. And it's 3F powder, by the way. A cardboard wad shot and then a felt over shot card. And I got it packed down really nice. It has a really good, tight, compact seal. I'm going to zoom in so you can see the shot in live action over here on the, paper, on the top of the paper target. And we're going to see how it does. So, here it goes. Alright, so here's our grouping here. Now, I was aiming for the top portion, I was aiming right about over here. And they all seem to go in this higher area, and this has a tighter, <coughs> we got a tighter group here. Okay, so we have the walker loaded up again with birdshot. We got a soda down there, let's see what we could do to it. I'll tell you what, that load I was using was a lot more potent than the last ones. <laughs> wow. No, actually, just kidding. I actually had to load up with 50 grains of powder and a 457 round ball. That's why I did that. <laughs> I wouldn't advise shooting uh, a bottle like that with birch. I don't know if it would penetrate it, to be honest. All right, so that'll wrap it up for a review on the 1847 Walker loaded up with birch shot. We did a couple different loads, and I think that the 25 grains of powder load did the best. I was able to get a really nice compact seal. That's what you want. Whatever load you use, you want to get a nice compact seal. And uh, I think using more shot as compared to using more and using less powder is best. And using more powder and less shot is not, you're not going to get the optimal results. So it is a rifle barrel, so it's not going to shoot that accurately anyway. But um, would it work for snakes? Yeah, probably. I would say so. 
you know, I don't have a snake here to test it out on. <laughs> but um, yeah, I would say it would do the job. You know, it's not the best, but it's better than nothing. So, you know, it's interesting to see what these guns can do and how versatile they can be. So, that'll wrap it up for our review. Thank you for watching, folks. And be sure to follow me on Instagram at blackpowdershooter.44. There, I post updates and sneak peeks before I upload a video, so you get to see what's going on first before I upload the video to YouTube. So go follow me over there. And also, I have and I have a link to my Instagram page down below at blackpowdershooter.44. <coughs> also, I also have my Pro for Show discount promo code down below, and you can use that with your purchase over there on Amazon.com for your Pro for Show earmuff purchase and you get 5% off your purchase. And right now, the earmuffs run right around, as of right now, they're running at $16.97, I just checked. And with the promo code, you get a little more off. So, go pick up a pair of those earmuffs today. They have 34 decibel rating, which you already heard about at the beginning of the video anyway. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching, folks. And until next time, have a great day.